So we're going to work with the civil cut 3d and do some basic highway design uh, uh, sketching uh, first we're going to start out to importing some data and then we're going to go ahead and create a, a surface and then create a, a alignment profile and get to a sections and a, a corridor so one of the first thing we're going to do we're going to import data whether it be a survey data or a point file let's go start with a point file and we're going to click on a point right here and this new window open up it says point creation create point uh, click point creation and then you see another window open up in this window right here click this import file and then the, another window open up right here you see this plus sign click the plus sign that will take you to a bra, uh, your uh, make sure your file it's on your computer not on a cloud and once you're here you can uh, pick up your file um, Let's see if we can find that. Uh, there we go. And once you click your file, when you go through your file, take a look at it. And uh, in this second window, go down here. There's something called, called PNEZ. Click on that and make sure everything is in the order northern, eastern, and point elevation. That looks good. And down here, make sure this one is checked and the other two are unchecked. You do not uh, do coordinate transfer if possible. Once you have that, click OK, and then you click OK. You now you look at your screen. You see nothing. It's okay. Don't panic, and go ahead. Right in this, you can do two things. One, you can uh, type in zoom enter, e enter, or just go over right here. Right, it says uh, zoom extend. Click on that, and there you see your uh, uh, point data. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and create a surface. Right from your home tab, go to surface and click the drop down, drop down menu and you see sir, create surface click that then you have this new window open up let's name the surface the name the surface because it's the existing ground so we're going to call it uh, w i t e g and now we have that we're going to click ok and going back to the uh, prospector they call this a prospector this prospector you can uh, if you click on that tool space right here it's gone and if you click it's back on so so you go to the prospector and you find the surface when you look at the surface right next to it is a plus sign click that plus sign and after you click the plus sign um, look down we see the file that we created called WITEG click the plus sign on that also and then you go down you see a definition and there's a plus sign next to it click the plus sign next to it then we get to a you see this opens up and you go down here what do you see it calls a point group uh, click on a point group and then right click your mouse and you see this says add click add and when you click add a new window open up and click all points apply okay so now we have our uh, uh, surface created from here we're going to go ahead back to go back to the home tab and go to uh, uh, alignment Let's make the alignment and you can see right here we have alignment click on alignment and alignment creation tool okay uh, let's do that and then this new window opens up right here and there's a lot of good information in here so let's name the alignment first okay just let's call it alignment uh, w i t and come down here it says the side leave it where it is and leave this window proposed that's fine all labels that's fine let's click ok and starting right here is a starting station 0 plus 0 and you see this is general if you go design criteria they got the code in here minimum radius table for from astro I have, uh, this thing is amazing so now let's just go back to the general and click the way they were so click ok and when you do that this new to schedule uh, sketching tool kind of opens up on top here from here you can go to the far left and you see this uh, click the drop on drop down menu and down here says curve and uh, uh, spiral setting you click that and this new window open up it says do you want your curve curve will be 200 you can switch that based on the code you're using so leave it the way it is and click OK go back again here uh, same drop down menu and you have an option the option pick the tangent to tangent with curve and once you do that now you can draw your profile from this point to that point let's make this a little bigger 
there we go i'm going to start from this point right here and click right here and stop right here just click it and then take a curve right here and click that one here and come back this way um let's put another curve in there there we go click good so now within there once you get to this point click enter all right and you see right here you created the uh, uh alignment and you see the stationing and if we come back down we made that turn the corner we made a horizontal uh curve right here and we look at the you see the horizontal curve data you have your pc you have your pt and your vertex right there this is amazing this already does that stuff for you okay so now we said here we created the uh, alignment let's go ahead create a um, um, profile so go back to the home tab right under alignment there's a profile click the profile and it says create a surface profile we click that new window open up it says okay you want to go from the wt eg existing ground alignment it says yes from station 0 to station 41 yes that's what we want to do we click add and when you click add this window opens up down here has some other option but from here you really want to go ahead click draw in profile view and if you hit ok then you have to come back again to this point and uh, view file to uh, draw uh, in uh, profile view let's click here and once we click this this new window opens up and in this window basically it goes through all these options from general all the way to the profile uh, uh, setting so uh, it says uh, hit next when you get to this window and it talks about the alignment yes this is the alignment we want to do and then it talks about what stationing uh, if we use the we have an option automatic or uh, we use our own let's go with automatic from station 0 to station 41 we click next and the same thing option with this elevation which is going to start from 81 to elevation 108 or you can use your own but let's go with automatic again click next when you come to this window again click next one more time and it clicks another time next go through all the stuff and finally here when you get to this window click create profile view now you notice when you did this you come to it here it's like where's my profile relax see this it tells you where you want the profile so go right find a spot that you want right here and then click on a, a screen and there's your profile view so now you look at the profile view you can see it and uh, it's a good uh, existing profile it's a good place for doing a either four wheeler or motorcycle but we don't want to do that we want to put a new profile new road with a uh, with a good slopes with it so let's go ahead and create a new uh, profile so while we're here we go back again from the home tab we go to profile right here and it says profile creation tool we click that one and once you do that you come in you see your mouse has a little square in the middle of it so hover that square over your profile when it lights up see it it lights up and you go uh, once it lights up right there it, you got to make sure it lights up right there okay now click it and then this window comes up when this window comes up you want to fill all this information it starts out with alignment wit yes name the profile we're going to name it right here so we're going to say this profile name this is our second one we made one for the existing so this is going to be for the new one so it's going to be w i t f g for finish grade or finish ground so now we have this and they have design criteria all that stuff so design profile correct complete set of label let's click ok again we get up with this uh, uh sketch tool we do the same thing over here let's go to the curve setting and look at the curve setting and a horizontal you have a horizontal curve i mean an alignment you have horizontal curve and then a, a profile you have a vertical curve so uh what happened here let's do that again curve setting okay now we go back to the curve setting they have all the value here you can leave it the way it is for now and click ok and we go back to a curve uh, uh draw a tangent with curve same thing and now we can do our drawing let me make this a little bit bigger okay so i'm going to start from this point here i'm going to go up right here come back down here put some couple of vertical curve in it and uh finish it up right here and once you do click enter and there's your uh, profile let's see what we got for grid here for elevate um, for slope 
uh, right there's a two percent that's pretty good and uh, you got 1.1 uh, minus 1.0 percent so one thing is you want to uh, stay at uh, around half a percent and between half a percent and seven percent you don't want them too uh, uh, flat and then you don't want them too steep either now we have the and let's check something else out if we uh, let me get rid of this here you can see the curve data for a vertical curve data is way up here way up here let's bring it down closer to uh, to our uh, curve itself one thing we can do um, go on your uh, a new uh, profile right here and you can see when light up see it if you go back right on top of it and click the mouse and now you have everything is light up from rare you this program is amazing it's, it's so smart it does everything for you so now you this is you clicked on this and it's highlighted you go up in a ribbon in the ribbon on the far left corner you said it says uh, edit profile label click that and then in here tell you about uh, your labeling so you go to uh, right here crest the uh, curve and sag view and you go all the way across it says okay grab graph view on top so click on that and click one more time and you can see the drop down it says the distance above let's make a distance above or you can choose whatever you want so i'm going to go distance above i will do the same thing for the one blower for the sag curve and distance above there we go and and here how much distance above let's type in one inch one and enter and you will see it uh it didn't work okay right here actually there we go we got it we got it down here anyway so now we do this and let's do something else and that is um do the uh, uh typical section or what we call assembly here so go back to the home tab right here and there's something right next to the profile over called assembly click that assembly tool right there and it says create assembly so when you do that and then you have come to this window just fill this window up uh, name of the assembly you can call it uh, I don't know WIT1 for now and then come back here the code basic is good and uh, all code and uh, let's go let's click OK and uh, where do you want it now that's what the mouse says where do you want this let's put it right here between both of them right between both of them and notice that like this so you see right here but this is very small compared to our uh, um, alignment and a profile let's zoom back in there it is see how small this is see that red dot like that that's where it is so let's move zoom back out and get it opened up There we are. Now we have an okay. We can work with this. So from here on, what we gotta do is um, go up. Uh, let's get rid of this uh, uh, prospector. We need a space here. So we click right here. That goes in. If you click it, it will come back again. And you wanna hit this tool right here, right there, right below it. It says uh, uh, right there. Got it. Okay and when we click that tool uh then we click the next one next to with the property so we click that palette and uh right here click this one called properties next to it and now we have both of them property and this one is a, a tool palette so we click the tool palette in here and then we have the property right here so when you look at the tool palette right here it's just amazing they got so much good stuff in here and you see all this different tab right here let's just stay on a basic tab you can go later on go ahead and just and, and uh, explore all these different options now from the basic tab you can click on basic all right and then you come down here they have a basic uh, um, basic lane let's we can find that yeah basic lane and when you click that this other window in the property it shows you the basic lane and right here it says the side right side that means we're going to work on the right side of our section right here and then the width of our lane is 12 foot lane that's good we like that the depth of our lane the depth our depth really is uh it's uh, the depth is from uh, the finish grade to subgrade what i mean by finish grade to subgrade i'll show you in a minute so the depth of uh, uh, the depth they're talking about is depth from the top of the pavement all the way to the subgrade. 
and uh, it's right here to the subgrade. So subgrade is existing soil. It could be uh, clay, natural material, what's in the ground. And above the subgrade, we have the selected material. It could be sand, gravel, crushed gravel. And then you have the base course underneath the pavement could be nice clean crushed stone. And then you have the pavement. And of course, pavement itself could be a different layer, could be base layer, binder, and then finally the wearing surface. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, um, let's go back to our drawing. <coughs> So now here, uh, it says 0.6 to 7. That's really not enough. Let's make that 1.5 for now, 1.5, and click Enter. And now we have that set. The 2% is good. That means from the uh, center line of the road, uh, uh, you have 2% cross slope. So we click OK. And we're going to come back in here. Right here where we have the plus sign right there. Click that. And we see our, uh, 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 our uh, lane. This is our lane. And let's go, uh, this is our 12 foot lane. Let's add some shoulder to it. And you go in here, you have all kind of options. This is a basic shoulder right there. So I click basic shoulder, it's on the right side, yes. With three feet, let's make it six feet. Uh, six feet, enter. And then uh, depth, make it one feet, enter. And slope is 4% is good. Uh, so we go ahead right here. Zoom out and click right there. And there's our shoulder. Now we're done with the shoulder. Let's put some curb and then we can put some sidewalk. So if you can find curb, back in the basic tab again, uh, we go down as basic curb or maybe how about curb and gutter? Okay, click that. And then you see on the right side, correct. Uh, yeah, those information is good enough for me. And uh, come back in here and click right there. And there's our curb right there also. So now let's put a sidewalk next to it. Sidewalk, where are you? Uh, come back in here in our uh, uh, um, tool palette. We can find sidewalk. There we go. Basic uh, sidewalk right there. We click on basic sidewalk on a property. It says six feet. Six feet is good. Depth, uh, that's the depth is all right. And let's do that. And we click our sidewalk. Start from right here, this point. Now we've got a sidewalk too. Now, when you finish this, you have to complete it so daylight out the end of your uh, uh, section. And uh, that means you're connecting a proposed grade to existing grade. So that's what daylight means. So we're going to go ahead and daylight this out. And we're going to come back in the basic, uh, um, in the basic uh, tool palette right here. We look for uh, uh, right here, uh, back slope and uh, cut ditch. And you know that we talked about in the class uh, what the, are those are really the good way to look at go to the, take a look at the uh, uh, roadside design guide they have a lot of good information there so now we go in here they have everything right there we wanted that's good and uh, go back in here click right there there's our cut slope and fill slope this program is so smart and a cut slope will put a ditch in for you and uh, you know and uh, Again, you want more information, I will put that on Blackboard. It's a roadside, the roadside design guide. We will cover that too anyway. So now we're good. This program is so smart. We can go ahead and do the left side, and or if we're going to know the left side is going to be the same thing, we can copy this and mirror it. Let's do it the copy and mirror, or you can just go ahead and build the left side. See if we can do this. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, click on this highlights it and hit control same one next all all of them or you can select all of them at one time and uh, put them in this mode once you do that in a ribbon dialog box up here you can see a option called mirror click on mirror and then you come in here and mirror to this left side and there it is so now we got them on both sides okay let's uh, uh get rid of these here so we have more room and i want to show this how small it is compared to uh there it is right here so what i want to do next i want to go ahead and create uh, a corridor um go back to the home tab right now i want to have a divide my screen so i can Show it a little bit better it's easier for me so i'm going to go to view tab right here 
in the view tab i'm going to click the view configuration there's a drop down menu and you can do anything you want right here so right i'll go three left i will have three of them and i'm going to come in here first i'm going to show my uh alignment okay that's good and then i want to show the profile in this view all right and in here just oops in here we're gonna just show uh, the alignment there we go so now we're gonna go ahead go back to the home tab and then from home tab you can see there's a, a option called corridor you can click the corridor and hit corridor and a new window opens up and name the corridor let's call it wit avenue and the basic is good for this one and you go down here it says these three options right here they're really important so we're going to use wit alignment that's correct if you click right here then you click on the alignment is the same thing so we know we have one alignment but in a profile view we have two of them we click right here you can see two profiles it says wit eg or wit fg fg is the one that finished great so we're going to go with that and assembly see what we have for a, a we only have one so we click on that the <laughs> which we have right there and um, then you go to the surface you keep that keep that as none and make sure this box is unchecked right there and we're good to go click ok all right now we see right here we got our, uh, our corridor so take a look at a closer look at it and there it is by stationing and the width right there but one thing I wanted to show is there's, a, there's, there's some tools in this um, CAD 3D. It's amazing. If you click on right here, the corridor, and then right click, uh, you see that called. Uh, uh, I didn't do it right. Hold on. Oops. Okay. Click on that. Now right click the mouse. Okay. Object, view, object viewer. And uh, this will open up. You make this bigger. Um, Make this a little bit bigger than it is. You can move it around and see your 3D, and you can zoom into it too, and uh, move it around. And you can have a uh, right here. You have a different type of view, and you can go uh, realistic or shaded or wire wireframe. You can spend quite a, a lot of time in here to get it the way you want it. Start. So you can get it to the way that you like it. Once you get that, you can click this button right here. And it shows up right there next to here. But anyway, go ahead and have fun and enjoy it. And... Uh, Play fit and be well. Take care.